You put your arms up in the air like this, other arm up in the air like this, and then you oh, side, two, three, four. Cool. The last one. Well, you know, what I did on the basketball court was great for me personally for my career. But what I do outside, you know, I try to give so that a whole lot of other people can benefit from it. So the kids that we're sending uh, to, to my, in my foundation uh, to learn about STEM, science, te technology, engineering, and math, when we can teach them about that, we're putting something positive in their lives, and that makes me feel good. Oh, boy. Now, as you can see, all the parts oh, of the machine perform different tasks, but their forces are working together to create, wait for it. Uh, lead with positivity. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of your greatness. Embrace it. Your vision is limitless. Thank you, Wee Day. Great leadership helped, you, helped guide you here today to your excellence. To the adults in the room and those watching at home, never forget it's our responsibility to step up and provide young people with the tools they need to become passionate citizens. Joe hey, Jonas? <laughs> hey guys. What? My ears are bleeding. What are the odds? Might as well. <laughs> All right, how come you get to hit this button? I've been to Wee Day a bunch of times. I've never hit the button. Okay. This is unfair. Well, um, I have you hosted because, you know, as, as host, that's one of the perks. You get to hit the button. That's what you get to do. I see. Okay. Yeah. When women and men positively motivate each other, the results can be monumental. Never categorize or limit people by their gender. Instead, appreciate and acknowledge them for their talents and their accomplishments. So I want all of you to use that voice that's been given to you to strengthen and rise up those of you who don't have that opportunity. It doesn't take a lot to draw the line from how we treat animals to how we treat humans. I've been a vegetarian since I was nine and I became vegan almost eight years ago. I started, I started because I related to animals when I was a kid and then later I learned about the environmental impact of animal farming and I learned that the biggest thing I could do to have an impact on the planet's health was to become vegan. And now I realize the relationship to women's issues. So there is a way to stand up for your values every day, for the environment, for animal well-being, for women's rights, and to respect the interconnectedness of all of these issues, and that is to eat how you believe. Are the world's future. You are tomorrow's leaders. You are going to make a tremendous difference and your time will come. And when your time comes, all I ask you is just be ready. I salute you all and thank you for having me.